I feel like there's been a gap, a void in my soul for a first person open world fantasy RPG game with magic, archery and sword fighting. It's been 12 years since Skyrim released and The Elder Scrolls 6 is anything but close. So when Awakened Realms offered to sponsor me to check out their new first person roleplay game that comes out today, I got a little bit more than excited. This is Tainted Grail, the Fall of Avalon. It's a dark fantasy open world RPG full of quests, meaningful choices and undead monsters. It's based on the rich lore of the Tainted Grail board game, and when I say lore, well it ranges from spicy to satanic, and everything in between. You'll see what I mean in the opening prologue. I got access to the full game early to show it off to you guys, so if you enjoy what you see, you can grab the game for yourself from the link below. And so, our adventure begins. The all-consuming Red Death. 600 years ago, King Arthur led the great escape from the homelands, where our kingdoms were ravaged by the plague. Leading people to Avalon, he started the Age of Conquest and took the island from the Four Dwellers. Using the mysterious powers of men his, together with Merlin, they cleanse the land of the weirdness, a primordial force of chaos and possibility. But now, long after the death of the king, Camelot is in shambles as Avalon fractures into chaos. Old legends are gone and the weirdness is creeping back into our lands. The bleeding heart of the plague has started beating once more. And the Red Death has returned. Rulers of the Island Asylum, an order of the Red Priests, are desperate to stop it. By any means necessary. Rotting in one of their cells is a stranger who might bring a spark of change to this cursed island stuck in everlasting autumn. Oh, sets the scene. Love the intro and cinematic. Character creation. I can play as a female or male. I am the hero, the chosen one. I mean, I've already got the Ragnar Viking hairstyle. I can be normal or muscular. What does a muscular female look? Just ripped absolutely shredded a true vikinger let's look at the facial options here just so you know the females have a bunch of hair options as well look at this guy he looks concerned i guess i would be too this guy looks like he's seen some stuff what kind of hair do i want oh my god it's like my hair that's like my exact hair color what the heck literally put me in the game like, oh it's got the top knot or we can have no top knot oh yes the beard options a fantastic tash, my friend. Oh, yeah, that's what I'm here for. The comb mustache, the oh, 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 just a bit of fuzz, bit of fuzz. Try, he's trying, you know, he's trying to get that glorious beard going, but he's not quite achieved this. We have a difficulty. Let's start out on normal. Name Danny, but with a glorious beard. I'm ready to begin. Are you sure you want to play as this character? Yes, I am. You won't be able to change it. Well, I accept my fate. And I hope this time you'll cooperate without me needing to repeatedly hit you in the face, eh? Oh, <gasps> we're in a cell. Oh my God, it's like nostalgia of my favorite game. Look, we just have to get this over and done with. Unless you want a visit from someone upstairs. And trust me, you don't. Just like before, no food until we're done here. And the moment you start getting on my nerves, we're going back to my tried and tested fists. So, tell me, what were you doing in the forest when the Red Shields caught you? I was on my way to enlist in the army. Yes, sounds believable. I was hunting. I mean, I was in the forest. I was avoiding the city guards trying to sell some goods. I'm a thief. I kind of like that gameplay style. I was looking for an ancient worship site. Yeah, do you know what? I'm just gonna go shifty. Or actually, I can just stay silent. We'll see what happens. Seriously? We've been through this already. Don't make me come in there. <laughs> stay silent. Okay, I've had enough of you. Oh! 
Wait, what? I always found it puzzling that these people won't bathe. You, I understand, you're literally rotting in this damned cell, but them, there's just no excuse for the stench. There they are, finally. Is that the keys? Let me out, I brother. know, I know you have a million questions forming in your head, but they'll have to wait. One of these keys will open your cell. When you get out, head left. I'll scout ahead. Okay, I don't even have a weapon. Maybe I can loot the guard on the floor. The Great Escape. Yes. Oh my god. Oh yeah, ragdoll physics. Oh yes, I can. Good, good. This is good. And I can take all his clothing that he has on. Take everything. Look at him. The limp body. Oh, look at me. I'm already a badass. I'll just leave my abs out because they're so ripped. We actually have six armor slots, including, I think this is a cape. Or do I have any jewelry or ring? Oh my god, look at all the skills. One-handed, two-handed, blocking athletics, light armor, medium armor, heavy armor, archery, evasion, agility, sneak, theft, magic, alchemy, cooking, handcrafting, a wooden club, 10 to 14 damage. Oh, right. There's actually a journal here hidden under my bed. The Seven Commandments. Written in some kind of satanic language. First came the prophet, and then came the word. The word is sacred. The pope, his cardinals, and his priests receive the word. The word is the way. Oh, so basically the priests have formed a hierarchy where everyone needs to listen to them. We are the brothers and the sisters starving for the word. The word is sustenance. So everyone has to only listen to the priests because they know best, okay. Together in holy suffering, we walk the pilgrim's paths. The word is our strength. We repent by facing the trials of the plague. The word is our cure. The priests, clad in red, guide us towards grace. The word is salvation. There are no other sanctities. Only the prophet's word and the will of the red church. Do not doubt your faith and you will be rewarded. I'm going to take this with me so I can refer to it. But I guess we're stuck here with the red priests. Oh, I can open all of these jail cells. It looks like somebody has been tortured here, though. Oh, one sec. Lockpick zero. I think that guy's a bit past his sell-by date, though. This door's open. Oh, everyone has a copy of the Seven Commandments. How generous of these red priests to give everyone reading material. Oh, this one can open. Oh my god, I can take this sacred pot. Fantastic. I can probably sell that to the innkeeper along with eight copies of the Seven Commandments. I'm going to run the wrong way and see what happens. Oh, oh my god. This guy got wrecked. Oh, he has another key and more armor. Everyone's just, oh, the Chamber of Ecstasy. I don't know if we're able to read that. Oh, a raunchy picture. <laughs> Sir Osbert could not wait any longer. Or <laughs> could he not? He shut the door behind him and jammed the latch home. In a few determined strides, he approached Liliana, capturing her lip waist in a strong embrace. Panting heavily with desire, he lift her as if she weighed nothing and threw her on the bed. What's going to happen next? He set about conquering her lips, neck, and with hungry kisses. Liliana arched off the bed and... Did she really? It spurred him further, did it? He loosened it, did he? What slipped him between the legs? There was no hesitation. He took out the weapon a man uses to lay love siege. It, it, it's described as an enormous battering ram. Okay, this is not appropriate, sir. I will take your roast dinner along with this moonshine, though. Oh, I can rest. I'm just gonna have a nap for an hour. <laughs> cooking for the resistance. So I think the cooking book we picked up was a skill book. Oh, is that... Is that a drawing of a prisoner? <laughs> what? What am I playing? This is fantastic. Oh, I can cook these different recipes. Or I can just mix a bunch of different stuff and hope for the best. What's in here? It is a dead skeleton. Oh, we can also lockpick this cabinet and there is a figure of a god. The figure we picked up actually gives you plus five max health permanently, so it must be a collectible. Let's eat that. Everything not bolted to the ground has been taken. Let's carry on and catch up with our friend. Hello there. Where is he gone? 
Oh, I can open this with the guard's key. Okay, so it's lucky we did explore that and we can loot all the moonshine and sage and different ingredients they have in here. But I can't lockpick the casket. So if I get a lockpick, we're going to have to... Oh, a lockpick! Okay, here we go. Oh, yes. Oh, my God. I'm using a sword for the pressure. Perfect. A very easy difficulty. Well, now I have to go back and lockpick everything else. Look at all this Vincent. Oh, villager's shirt. Everything is mine. Oh, my God. You can even loot the barrels. Potatoes, yes. A cracked shield. Oh, yes. Now I have a shield. Oh, my God. Yes. I can make mashed potatoes. Yes. And I can make cabbage rolls. I'm a connoisseur. Cabbage rolls heal 20 health. I can wear a dress. Okay, let's progress onwards and uh, actually continue the game and get out of the prison today. I feel like I've already established myself as a chef here, though. Oh, I can lockpick the torture room. Let's go. Oh, come on, come on. Don't break it. Don't break it. Okay, it's just here. Boom. Easy. Look at this. Years of Skyrim has uh, prepared me for this. What is this diagram? What kind of mutant monsters were they creating here? So this is the red priests who are experimenting on torturing people. I can pick up everything and everything's you. Oh my god, there was a heart. Autopsy report. Subject 17. I drilled a burr hole into the left temporal bone. I opened the skull by removing the calvaria. You drained the fluid from the skull? I lifted out the brain. Its shape is abnormal swollen as if burst from the inside and there's also a knife here it's a very rusty knife this place is creepy oh my god is that the brain we need to open it and take the brain with us battle brothers i've reached level 11 in theft i can take the heart and the brain and there's another treatment report here this guy was suffering with mild symptoms of the red death and he then fed them food mixed in with weird beast bone meal Patient one was actually suffering from typhoid rather than the red death. I burned his body. Patient two, by the third day, she started behaving erratically, scratching at the walls, pulling out her hair and screaming incoherently. On the fifth day, it was like some inhuman force possessed her. She pulled the chains that were holding her off the wall and she started to bend the iron bars of her cell apart. Fortunately, her heart gave out before she managed to escape. Patient free, the bone mill had no effect. The disease is progressing at its usual pace, but the patient's mind appears intact. Very interesting. So they are experimenting on people here. I'm going to take all these hearts and brain samples. Hopefully no one looks in my inventory and finds that I'm carrying around like 18 brains. Can I eat one? Okay, so brains heal you and give you mana over time. Okay, we've got to lockpick this place now as well. I'm going to be a master thief by the time we leave. Monster blood? Oh my god, a drowner's tongue? It's actually really cool to just like walk around this environment reading about the lore of the game before I've actually experienced. I already know that I'm going into a pretty terrible world here. Oh no, I broke a lockpick. This is a medium lock. No, another lockpick broken. Yes, there we go. We opened the medium lock. What is inside? It's another heart and another knife. Oh my god, there is a dead mo- So there's a female here that was being experimented on and she was seven months pregnant. Oh my god, her fetus evolved into a monster. Apparently it turned out to be of good viability for whatever it was viable for is another question entirely. Okay, we are- we're not even caught up with our friend yet. To Brother Selfron, telling him to clean up his alchemy station, but it also suggests that alcohol and sage can be used to make a healing potion. So we've actually learned a lot of valuable gameplay stuff by just reading all these notes, which I love. Okay, I'm still following this guy. There's another dead body here, and there's actually a red priest down there too. Oh, this guy has a red priest uniform. The armor isn't as good. Oh my, <laughs> look at that. Okay, so we've got to go. Can I? Oh, I can sneak as well. Ah. Can I sneak in here? Okay, there's a little cave area. Oh, dude, I love stuff like this. Okay, this takes me to the red priest area. And there's a dude right there. Okay, so I can heavy attack. Let's sneak over behind this guy. Gonna power attack. Oh, someone detected me. Die! Oh, God! Oh, my God, there's like three of them. 
Okay, so we've got a stamina bar here, and it drains as we hold down our block. Come on, then. Let's go, buddy. Oh, that did some damage. Okay, we got some sparks flying when we block attacks, which is very cool. Get Rex, son. Oh, and if you if you block just before, you can actually parry them. Get Rex, son. Need to watch out for this guy with a sword, though. Let's power attack him while he's down. He's out of stamina or something. Oh, you can interrupt their attacks as well if you hit them at the right time. It's cool. If they miss their swing, it actually... You can stagger them, and they run out of stamina. Okay, let's just finish this dude. Okay, your faith won't falter. We'll see about that, buddy. Oh my god, he has a sword. And this guy has a dagger. Dagger does 9 to 10 damage. A sword does 9 to 10 damage as well. They're both very light. So in comparison... Oh my god, a sword attacks so much faster. But I have stamina, so if I get tired... I can't block or use my sword. Okay, that makes sense. Health potions. Okay, these red priests are sadistic. He's talking about how he enjoys putting his hands into animals' flesh cavities and stuff. Alchemy station. Ah, oh, fantastic. Okay, so we know that we can make the healing item with sage and mead, which is the alcohol. So let's go ahead and craft some healing potion. We can also make swift steps, which grants us haste. And we can use the body parts we've used in some of these potions as well. It looks like they've been experimenting on a few people. There we go. Now I've healed a bit of health and we can get out through this cave again. And then back into this long corridor. I feel good now I've had my first fight. I'm excited to get out into the open world. Oh my god, a wooden arrow? Oh my god, is that a short bow? Yes! Everyone's going to be naked and they're going to be like, oh, can we just rest for an hour? Does that heal me? Yeah, that heals me as well. Okay, cool. So we have a second loadout here and we can put our bow and arrow in there. And then we press two and we have our bow and arrow. We press one, we have our sword and shield. Dude, this is, that's great. I love it. I want to be able to use multiple weapons like this and quick swap between them. I wish Skyrim had that. You took your sweet time, eh? I did indeed. I understand. I did too when I was leaving this place for the first time. You have to admit, the Red Priests are quite resourceful when it comes to death and dying. Who are you? Why did you help me? You were a prisoner here? Great question, truly. But in case you haven't noticed, we're still within the walls of the Island Asylum. When we're out, then we'll talk. I'm told this path leads to the beach. I don't know how, but if it's true, then I'll wait there for you until dusk. Good luck. Wait, so you're going to run on ahead? You're not going to clear the way for me again? All right, I guess we go into the abyss then. I'm going to take these mushroom ingredients with me and get my bow out because I really want to test out the bow gameplay. Okay, I can see a guard up ahead there. And there's a chest with a hammer. A broken broadsword. Okay, that's our first two-handed weapon, so we've got to try that out as well. Let's put that on our third bar. I'm going to see. Can I actually shoot this guy from here? Probably not. It's quite a long way away. I can sprint as well, though. Wait, is there a guy? There's two guys here, right? Got him. Look at him coming over. Get Rex, son. And a headshot him. Oh, so as he spotted me, he started running even faster. Get wrecked, mate. Okay, let's try out the broadsword. Here we go. Die. So, I still take damage if I try and parry with this. Big damage. Oh my god, wait. Tainted Red Priest? So he's actually got some markings on him. Oh my god, what kind of Cthulhu place have we walked into? Dude, this looks nuts. See another guy at the top there. I think that's an enemy. Oh, it's not an enemy, it's just a banister. My bad. I don't have many arrows either. What is this? Oh my goodness. Oh, so it forms a bridge, but for some reason I can't form it. Brother Terrell's diary. Poor brother Jerry. Fell into the abyss. We now know that we can't try and lay planks over to reach the other side of the chasm. They simply will not hold. I can see the outline of a bridge, so it should be possible to cross it. Yet when Brother Jeer threw rocks in that direction, there seemed to be nothing there. 
There must be a way. There must be some mechanism or spell we're yet to discover. I can't give up now. All the secrets on the other side are calling and begging to be discovered. I will be the first person to cross that bridge, even if it kills me. Okay. A bit concerning. There's another book here. The Underground Wonders. Apparently there's no end to the tunnels down here and they stretch way beyond the island asylum above them. It also indicates that the dead ends may not actually be dead ends, so there could be some secret passages here too. The priests of the Red Order were kind of exploring what this place was. It seems quite alien to them as well. What is a weird plasm? I'm gonna take it. There's a note next to it. This diorama of ancient four dweller keeps nagging at me. Why does it look so dead? All the depictions we saw before seem to be of living creatures. And this skull, so similar to ours, almost disconcerting. This diorama of an ancient four dweller keeps nagging at me. Why does it look so dead? All these depictions we saw before seem to be of living creatures. And this skull, so similar to ours, it's almost disconcerting. It looks like a Mene, but Menes were raised by Merlin himself back in the old days. That's impossible. How could an ancient Fordweller predict what Melin would build in the future? Finally, I have it. The ultimate proof that Merlin actually couldn't have built the Menes himself. We found one buried deep in the labyrinth. So if we are the first to explore the depths of the Isle of the Dead, it clearly indicates that Merlin couldn't have invented Menes. This knowledge will shake the faith in that old bastard across Avalon. The word of our prophet Kai will finally prevail. It seems like we currently have a lot of false prophets. Let's head onwards. What is that? Okay, there's another barrier just here, and I can't pass through this stuff, whatever it is. Let's head onwards. I've got three arrows left. I don't want to use them. Oh, there's an I do want to use them. This is a perfect opportunity. Oh, right in the head. Get wrecked, son. He doesn't know where I am. Alright, let's go down there and kill him. Oh, we can't get up here, that's why. Oh! Tainted red priest, eh? Oh, I've got no stamina. There we go, it's coming back. Get wrecked, mate. I like how you kind of hit them and then the sword bounces off, like, their flesh. I'm finally over-encumbered. I was wondering how much stuff I'd be able to carry. We'll drop everything that has a low value to weight ratio. All right, now we can carry on further into this dungeon. This cave goes very deep. It looks like they spent a long time mining it and exploring it. But what did they uncover? Some kind of ancient god by the looks of it. What is this? Brother Hugar's diary. And so the question arises, is there any significance to this Mene having three arms instead of four? If so, how could we learn more? How could we examine it further without touching it? Poor Father Ab was brave enough to touch it with his bare hand. His disappearance shocked everyone. It's not that he died, he just isn't here anymore. It's like he never existed. After that, our Pope, bless his name, forbid anyone from touching it ever again. But I must admit, I can hear it whispering. It calls to me by name. I know I should report it to my supervisors, I just don't want to. Okay, so we need to touch this, it's going to teleport us somewhere. Here we go. Oh, oh, it's taking me to the realm of the gods. What is this place? Dude, this is nuts. Okay. Oh, I can dash? I didn't know I could dash with oh. What are these creatures? And some creepy looking children, like, what? This is weird. Does anyone understand this language? Oh, is that a man? Look at this. What does this symbolize? Oh, we can interact with this. Maybe in this world it works? No. Maybe we can learn an ability to make it open. Let's run back over here and see it. Oh! Ah! <laughs> oh wait, there's a dead body here that I ran past. This must have been the last red priest that actually came through. I can see something up here. It looks like a rune stone. Glittering stone. And then there's some candles here suggesting I should walk up. I've been waiting 
a long time for someone to find me. Are you here to help me leave this place? What are you? I do not know. I think it is some kind of prison deep in the weirdness. Who are you? I wish I could answer. I cannot remember. I know I am not complete. I remember I once knew who I was at some point. But I do not anymore. I just am. Is this Merlin? Why are you here? Why are you here? I'm lost. I've been transported here by a morbid statue. A man here that would explain the weirdness surrounding us. So you're a prisoner? I might be. I do not know. Was I sent here for a reason? Did I end up here by accident? Like you? I feel like you're trying to bait us to release him. I don't trust it. Why do you want to leave? I've been here for what seems like an eternity. I feel I am getting restless. You are looking for a way out yourself. I think we might be able to help one another with that. I shall do something now. But trust me, the discomfort will be worth the outcome. Do I have a choice? Can I say no? Temporal hold unlocked. So this is a spell, maybe. Can I use this uh, thing now? Oh, yes. Oh my god, that's cool. Yo, guys, if you're enjoying this so far, please do drop a like on the video. It's really unique, and I find the story compelling. What? Wait, is there going to be like a giant boss battle? Short sword. Parrying is one of the most useful skills in combat. It allows you to avoid all damage and greatly reduce the enemy's stamina. When the enemy's stamina is depleted, they become staggered. To perform a successful parry, use block right before they attack you. Okay, so I guess I'm about to be attacked. Come on then. Try again. There we go, we got the parry. Get wrecked, son. Just go ham. Temporal hold allows you to slow time. Use it however you want to attack, escape, and so on. Oh, beautiful. Regen our stamina. Oh, get wrecked, son. Nice parrying. These weird spawns are really weak enemies. Die. Compared to the red priests. I am sorry I did not ask for your permission to do that. But I hope it was worth it, as promised. Thank you for this power. What did you do anyway? I found a bit of emptiness within your heart. A place where I could dwell for a while. Okay, what do you want from me? I have already told you. I need your help to leave this place. And when we are out of here, I will need your help finding the rest of me to make me whole again. I feel I am but a shadow of what I once was. We're definitely being manipulated. How am I supposed to find the rest of me? Look for what is left of me whenever you step into the weirdness. I know your kind tends to avoid it, but you do not have to be afraid. I will be your shield against the darkness. Damn. Okay. And what after we leave? I will try to help as much as I can, but I need you to hold up your end of the bargain. Sounds like a lifetime contract. I never said yes. Forgive me. I am not giving you a choice. Oh. Well. But I still promise the reward. Okay. Having me as your companion on this island will be worth more than any illusion of free will you may have wished to choose. Okay. And then he can suddenly open the way. So he actually just required me as a vessel to leave this place. We don't have a choice anyway, so here we go. <laughs> oh, we're back here. This was where the portal opened up. Now we can open this button. And I assume we can progress over this bridge. That was right ahead of us. I have this new power to open the way. 
I do not like all these Cthulhu looking creatures though that I'm now clearly working with because they can operate the same systems that we're now using. This place is very foreboding and ancient. Wow. Have we just found the Dwemer? Yo, what is that? What are those creatures? They're just down here in the middle of a dungeon turning this power wheel? Dude, this is crazy cool. Look at this. Some kind of electricity power generator or something. Man, strange place. Oh, there's a man waiting down here. But I can see a stone tablet up there, so let's go and read that. Interact. We must abandon the vision because what is beyond the sea came to us and we do not want it. We must leave to defend ourselves. They are coming. The titans will stay. Read the one on the other side. Guard the peace of the working titans, for without them we would not have the power within our walls. Away from Tuthan, only the power of what is underground allows us to reach where weirdness does not. So they were talking about that power source back then. Even when we leave, the titans will not stop working. It is how they were created. Okay, so that's those two massive troll looking creatures. With their power, one day we will manage to learn what lies beyond the sea. So these creatures want to find out what lies beyond the sea. There's another portal here. Hello there. Come on then. Get wrecked, son. Oh, he's a tanky boy, this guy. Come on then. Oh, he can fire magic. Okay. Get wrecked. Ah. Oh. Okay, it does damage to my health. I don't think I can block magic, but I don't know. This is cool. Get wrecked, mate. A rusty short sword. Burning ember? Is that a skill I can learn? Burn all my day. Look at this. Okay, I can charge it up. It uses up some mana, and then I can fire it. Yo. That's cool. So I guess we've got to go through this massive gate and see where it takes us. Whee! <laughs> Maybe it takes us beyond the sea. He said he'd meet us at the beach, right? Maybe he knew about this, the other guy we saw earlier. Wow, what a view. I still don't know where we are. I mean, there's a sun, but are we in the, the real world right now or not? I really want to cast my spell on something, though. Okay, that's the beach. So I can see... I don't know if those guys down there are enemies or not. So let's go and say hello before we attack them. Oh, has he freed a bunch of prisoners? Hello there. There he is. Now that we're all here, meet your new comrades, conquer in Syria. Get some rest, people, and prepare for the journey. We're leaving at dusk. Not so fast, brother. I'm not getting near a goddamn boat unless I know where I'm going. Away from here, brother. Isn't that enough? A free wish. But since we're all here and we have some time to kill, it would be nice if you finally explained what the hell's going on. You've helped us leave our cages, great. But even though we're grateful, you owe us an explanation. What do you want from us? To show some damn gratitude for one thing. Caradoc, we weren't born yesterday. No one would risk getting into trouble with the priests for nothing. Why did you save us? I need you to kill King Arthur. You're insane. He's insane. The King Arthur that has already been dead for 600 years, King Arthur. Precisely. But he's dead. You probably wouldn't have heard about it among the tribes little picked, but every single time things go down the shitter on this island, a bunch of cowards in Camelot bring our once and future king back from the dead. It's happened before, it will happen again, and soon. What a load of... <sighs> ah, fine. Have it your way. Let's say I believe you. You can't be serious. He believes that. There's no point in arguing with a madman. But that still doesn't explain why you saved us, Caradoc. I wish I knew why I was ordered to save you three specifically. Personally, I don't see the appeal. But I don't question my orders, and if you get on my boat, you won't question mine. Understood? Now get some rest. The tide's not right just yet. 
but it will break and start working in our favor by dusk. Fine. But where are we going, exactly? To the Horns of the South. Of course. Nice. A bunch of glorified fishermen who hate my people. Why would we stop there? Do they teach you, Del Rida, anything? To take the Excalibur, obviously. Obviously. It's truly insane. You'll see for yourselves soon enough. Now pin these emblems to your clothes. They will grant you free passage to the horns. And get some sleep. You all look like you're about to keel over. And we have a long journey ahead of us. The Once and Future King. Okay, before we actually get on the boat and talk to the other guy, I want to go and explore this island a bit. See if there's anything else here. Any ingredients we can harvest or what this big ass statue is up here. And climb across this boat and pop across and it looks like there is a bottle of moonshine and a chair that is a dead body here is that like another escaped prisoner who tried to swim away worn out leather pants okay, well he's uh he's dead now this island is truly in the middle of nowhere but there's a shrine up here i guess it's to the red priests god because there's loads of dead around it and they like dead Ooh, loads of ingredients and a hastily scribbled note with some feathers, which I'm going to take off the offering shrine because that's always a good sign, right? Her word is sacred. Why nobody listens anymore? Oh, if we drop off here, looks like there's a little shelter with a bed and some food. And round here, what's this? A body of a priest, a red priest. Letter to the prior. Venerable prior, I have taken the liberty of leaving my post on the island of Silent to deliver some disturbing news. My brothers have taken leave of their senses. Their souls have been poisoned by an unknown voice that is not the word. I have evidence of this. Ah, oh, this is what we read in the depths of that dungeon. Was it Prophet Kai's teachings that told us to subject her followers to elaborate torture while fighting for their health and their souls? Instead of concerning ourselves with the wicked power of the weirdness, were we not supposed to focus on finding a cure for the plague? Please, look at this appeal. I am sure you did not compose it. I do not recognize the fanatical seal. It is clear that someone is poisoning our brother's minds and trying to stifle the word. I bring this letter to you along with the evidence so you can make fair judgment, brother Leon. And we got a new quest from that. So we could potentially go and tell someone about what's going on on this island. And the red priests clearly aren't actually doing what they should be doing, which is very interesting. Right, let's go back to the boat. I told you to get some rest. The journey ahead won't be pleasant. The sea is angry today. It looks pretty chilled to me. So about killing Arthur. Yes, I know it's hard to wrap your brain around it, but you'll either trust my word or you won't. The man has died several times now. It's time somebody got rid of him for good. Hmm. How do they resurrect him anyway? You thought what you saw in the island of Sinem was bad? That's child's play compared to the forbidden rituals they performed to bring his carcass back to life over and over again. But why? Because it's against nature, and his sins are way too big to let him persist. Nothing could bring me more joy than seeing his empire finally crumble. Why did you save us? Because I was told to. And there are certain orders you just have to follow, whether you want to or not. I see. And the path you told me to take, what was all that? I wish I could tell you, but I have no idea where it led. And I don't want to know. All I know is that I was supposed to show you the way. The question was whether you were meant to see it through. It seems you were. Oh, okay. So this is all setting a plan in motion. All you need to know for now is that we're heading towards the Horns of the South. There, we're going to take Excalibur, and then be on our way. The Excalibur? Yes, the one and only. Listen, I can see you have a lot of questions, but I truly have no intention of answering them. Maybe you can just get some rest instead. You think they're just going to give us the sword, though? Well, we'll have to see about that, won't we? Okay, let's go ahead and sail onwards. You have decided to trust Caradoc, at least for now. Wait, did I have a choice? You have embarked on your journey towards the Horns of the Sound. But as soon as you found yourselves a sea, clouds gathered over your heads like tangible proof 
that there must be a curse on you. Soon the wind was howling and the gargantuan waves were towering over you. You found yourselves in the heart of a storm. The only thing you remember is the deafening roar of cracking wood and then darkness. You open your eyes. You are alive. And here we are, the great escape quest completed. And we're on another beach. Whoa, there's some giant swords up there too. Wait, I can level up? Oh my god, I can put points in strength, dexterity, spirituality, perception, endurance, or practicality. Practicality improves the chances for finding more loot, plus 3%. Lower store prices and boosts your crafting abilities. Strength enhances damage dealt in close combat by 3%. I'm going to put a point into strength there. Oh my god, is this the map? There's a massive castle and town here we can explore. And like some kind of entrance gate down here. And then a massive area to the north as well. These lands shall be unveiled at a later date when fate and time doth deem it. Avalon. Let's go and check out the wreckage of this boat in the distance here. It looks like there's some other bodies. Hopefully this wasn't our boat. But I will take your potatoes and your bread and anything else. You oh, a, a bear pelt? Probably use that for crafting something cool. Oh no, wait, so this was Caradoc. And he has another spell called Wolf's Call. And a kilt and letter. Wolf's Call, a magic summon. Here we go. Yo, what? That is sick. I get my own pet wolf? Awesome. Come on, battle brother. Let's have a look at what the letter says. Open this only in the event of my death. I understand you may not trust me, however you owe me your life and I need this debt to be repaid. The nameless one, the one I rescued from prison, they are more important than any of you realize. You must protect them. Bring them to the captain of the horns and ensure they undergo the ancient trial of the sea. I realize I'm asking a lot. We must put an end to this madness. Caradoc. His trousers give me 18 armor? Nice. All right then, let's go and head towards this massive city. In fact, there's a campsite on the left there I want to explore as well. Hey, I'm loving this game so far. It's got this real sort of nostalgic vibe to me. And I haven't played a first-person RPG in so long. The lore so far is really keeping me going, and I'm enjoying that. Oh, Jesus Christ, what is that? A corpse eater? Throwing rocks at me. Attack, dog! Attack! Oh, I don't want to hit my dog. Come on. Hey, look at it. Get wrecked. No, don't hit my dog! Well, it's a wolf, but still. Get wrecked, corpse eater. Good wolfie. Oh my god, he lost half his health. At least he lasts forever. That's really cool. Oh, Keeper's Tag. What is that? This guy has a full armor set. So this is the Keeper's armor set. It looks pretty cool. We can also use all those potatoes to make some mashed potato. We'll take the ale and onion. Oh, through the blacksmith's eye. So look, I unlock recipes for reading these skill books. And they're also described here as well. So it's really interesting. All right, I'm going to try out using my spells on this wolf. Oh, half its health and damage. Damn, magic is powerful. Okay, get wrecked. Look at this boy. Huh? Get wrecked, mate. Die. Die. Give me your leather. That castle is huge. I Actually, this is just the gatehouse, I think, of the castle. If you look on the map, yeah, this is just the gatehouse. The actual castle is all the way at the back. It looks like an absolute ruin of a, a long-forgotten blood lake. New location discovered. Hopefully there's no enemies here. I'm going to go through the main entrance, but it looks like I can get through that crack in the wall over there too. We'll try that out. East gate. Oh, so the blood lake was actually this thing down here with the enemies. Oh, there's a body down here. Let's go and climb down and see what we find. Ragged peasant shirt. Another dead peasant. So this lake is apparently just blood. And there's tons of enemies over there. Try and cook up a spell. Oh, big damage. I'm going to go over there and kill him. I can swim into the lake. Oh my god, look how much bodies there are in it. So they're just throwing dead corpses into this lake. Oh my god. Alright, let's take out this zombie looking undead creature. Erect. Oh, okay. You do a bit of damage, don't you? <laughs> they look like zombies, for sure. 
bloodstained t-shirt. So maybe these used to be people. Oh yeah, if you look up at the castle, you can actually see the platform they're dumping those bodies off. And some of them are just like sitting on the side. All right, let's head into the castle itself. Yeah, so here's the battlements of the castle. How much longer do we have to wait to take down that damn noose? Four days and four nights. That's what the asshole told me. Said it'd bring bad luck if we cut them down too soon. Sort it. That dick. I didn't, didn't know they were outcasts. Oh, my, there's an archer behind him as well. Oh, goodness me. Goodness me. Okay. Jeez. Oh, my God. Get hit by the... Ah! I have three health left. That was very close. Quickly, eat food. I will summon my wolf follower to distract them. And then, then we need to help the wolf. Come on. I'm not scared of you. Oh, goodness. They're still pretty... Oh, my God. My wolf is dead. I'm going to summon another one. Oh, we have a mana potion. There we go. There we go. Now die. Get wrecked. Do not attack my wolf, Sunny Jim. No, it's dead. My wolf. Mate, these guys have a cracked mace. That's pretty good. Heavy boots as well. I take those. Thank you very much. And a cracked club. All right, mate. I'm almost out of mashed potato. So it's not looking good. We've got to go take out this archer in the distance now. Maybe I can actually sneak up behind him and get rid of him. All right, we are directly behind him. I have no idea if he's going to hear my heavy ass boots. <laughs> Big Your damage. Belongs to us. Oh, that was close. Oh, no, you don't. Oh, you do a bit of damage, don't you? Goodness me. You're only making me angrier. Oh, I ducked his blow. Dude, you can, you can just duck and... Because of the hitbox, you can just duck their blow. That's actually really cool. He's got a short bow and some rusty sword. Oh, he's got some leather jacket as well. He's pretty kid, actually. Dude, there is a deer right there. Oh, it spot oh, it spotted me. Oh, I did like a fraction of its health. All right, let's head up the scaffolding here and see what else we're going to find. Hopefully not more enemies. <laughs> there was a lot of outcasts around. I don't have a lot of healing Keep left. Oh my god, look at him, he's so bad. Come on then. Ah. Oh no, you don't. Get wrecked. Didn't see that oh my god, I'm almost dead. Oh my god, he's really powerful. Ah, <laughs> run away. Time to start eating the brains, boys. I'm sorry. All right, I'm hiding under here. This is actually where they drop the dead into the zombie-infested blood lake. You can see all the bodies down there. Oh my god, the deer I shot ran off the cliff. It's right there. I think we're going to head to town, though, because I'm actually going to increase my endurance and stamina. I think that's pretty crucial. And now let's head. Oh, there's actually some deer right here along the way. OK, OK, we got a deer down. Let's pick him up, see what he has. He has some leather and a deer pelt. Oh, this one just got spooked. I thought I could, like, run up to him and melee attack him almost. OK, we've almost reached the gates of the main keep. And I can see my objectives actually leading me here as well see what we find inside he was asleep drunk snoring hello hello your money or your life get up soldier the enemy is coming whoa, 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 what's happening <coughs> in the name of the old mother what are you doing i could have stabbed you <laughs> wait i haven't seen you before who are you no i could have stabbed you and i didn't <laughs> all right true why didn't you, eh? You could have killed me. So, so you're not one of them bandits, then? Who, who are you, huh? Here, I have this pin. I was told I'd find safe haven here in the horns. Oh, this pin. Uh, I can't say I see it very clearly right now. Uh, oh, but it looks important. Oh, oh, yes, I remember now. I, I, I welcome thee, ye... Uh, Royal person on behalf of the keepers. <laughs> oh, you are a great friend to our own. <laughs> Welcome. Of course. Please speak with Fergus. He's our quartermaster. He runs things round here in the captain's absence. He'll greet oh, thee properly. Have a pleasant uh, rest of the day. <laughs> Open it up, boys! Nice. We've reached the castle. 
And it looks like England because it's raining. Alright, so I guess we've got to go up to the castle keep, but I'm keen to explore the rest of this area later and definitely sell my stuff to the merchants because I am very over encumbered right now. Okay, our quest of marker. Dude, look at this wooden turret over there. It looks very makeshift, like they're only just holding on to what's left with the skin of their teeth. Mate, what kind of sword? Is this Excalibur? Can I just pick this up? Oh my god, it drains my health. Well, we tried. I guess I'm not the chosen one, but this is the person we need to meet, the quartermaster. Here he is. Fergus. How's it going? Sir, I haven't seen you before. I wasn't expecting any guests. You don't look like a new recruit. And your children let you in. He's not drinking again, I hope. Yes, he was pretty drunk. No, he was completely sober. Huh, that's surprising. But good. Very good. He's been a drunk for as long as I can remember. He keeps saying he'll stop, but he never does. At least not for long. The name's Fergus. And I assume you already know that I'm the quartermaster here. Now, state your business. And please, try to be convincing, or the walls of this fortress will be the last thing you'll ever see. Uh, okay. I got this pin from a friend. I assume you know what it means. Yes, I know. And that's why you're still standing in front of me. However, these pens were only given to certain people. They mean that in times of trouble, these people will always find a safe haven here in the horns. And this makes me wonder, what happened to your friend? Where is he? Ah, okay. Fair enough. We got shipwrecked on the way. I assume he's dead. He could have made it. If what you're saying is true, he must have had a deal with someone well above my pay grade. And that leaves only the captain. However, if you're lying, then you might as well have just confessed to the murder of a knight of the round table. But nobody's that much of a fool, I think. Fortunately for you, I've seen my fair share of morons in life, and you don't look like one. Fortunately for me, this pen only means that I'm to make sure you're safe in the horns. Nothing about helping you out with whatever you're up to. Oh. And let me guess. If you have friends among the knights, then you'll be wanting to talk to the captain, right? Well, that ain't happening anytime soon. Why? Because I said so. What? Did you really expect that you could just enter our keep and head straight for the captain's quarters? Fair enough. There wouldn't be much point in having walls and guards here if anyone could just do that, would there? I have the pin, though. Anyway, welcome to the Horns of the South. Make yourself at home. But the pin! <laughs> so, what will it take for you to let me talk to the captain? So before we find out what we need to do to meet the captain, I thought we'd end today's episode here. So I climbed up to the top of this wooden tower to have a look around, and my goodness, this world is absolutely huge. So drop a like on the video if you guys enjoyed it. I'd love to do a part two of this video, so if you want to watch that, you can check it out from the link below, and also grab the game for yourself down there. I'll see you guys in the next episode. Goodbye.